What's up, Capcom community? We're live mm -hmm. at San Diego Comic-Con 2013. Brelson here along with Chris Antista. How you doing? What are we, we taking a look at? Well, we're here at Comic-Con. We figured why not do a better introduction for our DuckTales Himalaya stream ah, than yes. just introducing ourselves on the title screen. Here, see it here in full-on Comic-Con where we also have Dungeons & Dragons, a DuckTales money bin that you can jump into, Ace Attorney, Dual Destinies, Lost Planet 3. Uh, where, yeah, we have an entire Monster Hunter booth where you can pose with a Rathalosaur, Great yeah, Sword. Yeah, yeah. Or some bracky dual blades. It's a bunch of cool stuff, and the store is decked out with a bunch of new stuff. Capcom store is a bunch of items only here at Comic Con, and then mm -hmm. hopefully we can get some on the store on the online store later. But one of the big ones here is this Mega Man 25th anniversary statue. It's the first time it's around mm -hmm. to pick up, as well as the life size statue to take a picture with, which is pretty awesome. Yeah. So basically, the point is to make you feel bad for not coming to Comic Con. <laughs> but all right, to soothe that a little bit, we're going to show you the entire playthrough of Ducktail Remastered it's Himalayas level, which From is premiering the at the Comic Con. This exactly. Year. It's yeah. premiering right here. We have a trailer narrated by Launchpad up right now on Capcom Unity YouTube. Always subscribe, people. So without further ado, let's jump into that stream. Yes, I love this scene. That's where we were going to jump in. Okay. Ah, Himalayas. Ah, and look at Launchpad. Let's catch up with our boys real quick. What has happened? I'll give you one guess. Gee, Look at the plane. Mm -hmm. Look who's flying it. Uh -huh. I think we can figure it out from there. Launch, pla launch pad crasher extraordinaire. Mm -hmm. He's been crashing planes plane since uh, since when, actually? Yeah, since uh, 80, 87. Has he successfully ever landed a plane? Uh, I don't know. I just don't think... I can't think of anybody else who would employ him other than someone who could replace a menagerie of planes every other week. <laughs> So basically what they're talking about here is uh, what happens with remastered a lot. Oh, oh, oh no, there it goes. Why don't you fire this guy? Because <laughs> he's a lovable Never. goof. Because he's hilarious. Because in life would be too easy. But basically what they're doing here is setting up a reason why Scrooge needs to uh, go explore around the mountain. Much like uh, if you've seen previous videos of uh, the Transylvania level, there's a little bit more uh, t bit more reasoning about why they're there. Yeah, they're you, I, I, am, I will never, there, never say anything bad about the original NES ones. However, the reasons in which you are doing things or there, it, one, it's not presented. There's no yeah. narrative reason for you to be there. And right. two, there's... there's S they did. It was like Capcom doing the best with what they had NES wise. So yep. there's a lot of retracing your steps without any really real reason why. Yeah. And so what this does is presented a story reason, and I'll take you through that. This is not necessarily going to be the, the fastest way to get through the level. It's just uh, it leads you to a cutscene that I think is I don't know pretty pretty emblematic of the work put into this game and yeah. to make it special again. And one of the big things there we kind of talked o over all of it, but I mean the, the, one of the big takeaways is yeah. the uh, the voice actors. Returning. Voice actors are all back. I believe uh, we are seeing this. What's up, Capcom community? We're live mm -hmm. at San Diego Comic Con 2013. Brelson here along with Chris Antista. How you doing? Are what we are we taking a look at? Well, we're here at Comic Con. We figured why not do a better introduction for our DuckTales Himalaya stream ah, than yes. just introducing ourselves on the title screen. Here, see it here in full on Comic Con where we also have Dungeons and Dragons, a DuckTales money bin that you can jump into. Ace has suggested it. And uh, here you see, like this is the Himalayas level we're showing off uh, at Comic Con, and yes. if you know the NES, the NES version well, you probably recognize not just the level layout, but even the goat even jumping the goat. around. Oh, was the animation of Scrooge oh, falling oh. in the snow? Yes, here we go. Do Pogo. Oh, oh burr! This is all new. Well, that's a really cool. I haven't seen the teeth chattering. Yeah, before. exactly. There's a bunch of added little tiny uh, animations like this. Usually, like at at least one unique one per level that you can't experience in, in any other level. Yeah. Do not quote me on that, but yeah, I'm, I, this is sorry. I, I always show this off. One of my favorite idle animations. He's on a rope. Uh huh. I don't know why this entertains me so much, but he could be that one. Aww. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. If you're, if I was on a rope, I would definitely look both ways before continuing to rope burn my hands. Before, down. yeah. I'm wondering if his spats come in handy in, in the spat. Oh here. yes, it's to keep the mud off your boots. Aha! Yep. The fuel regulator shall be mine. So yeah, this is... Uh, oh, and then th so I'm going to guess some sort of cousin of Thumper mm -hmm. steps in. and uh, <laughs> Off they go with the thing Scrooge was after. So now... There is no definitive Bambi game. I'm sorry. Uh, Bambi is a great summon in Kingdom Hearts, where Kingdom Hearts fans uh, might have also seen Alan Young, who also does the role of Scrooge McDuck in Kingdom Hearts. He's just pretty cool. He's been doing that for years as well. So I need to go get this part from a rabbit. Uh, <laughs> these parts stolen from a Quote rabbit. Quote of the year. And 
the last g the other game was just sort of like yeah trial and error I guess we a, a lot of us had more patience for games did you see that statistic recently of like how many kids can finish the first level in Mario Brothers right yeah 90 percent can't so yeah. like which I it's, mean, it's not dope. dumped down I don't have to hit the start menu but I'm playing on medium here it is yeah. it's showing me the location of the objects on the map you want to play on hard fine hard, I, yeah hard you, gets rid of the map completely and if you really want to make it hard for yourself please turn off your uh, stream for just one skip a minute ahead because boom invisible wall <laughs> invisible wall and if there's any order to going to levels, it's probably I would go Himalayas and Transylvania first because they get an extra heart. Nice. And those are permanent or per they level? Are permanent. Uh, oh, wow. Throughout, throughout the rest of the game. And there you can see uh, this, this spider's an idle animation. In fact, a lot of the care Way Forward puts into. I mean, you know, Way Forward, their, yeah. their sprite work and their 2D artwork and stuff is, is we top notch. Some, we should have. You should be able to see some some of our documentaries at this point and. When they were talking about the design, it was really interesting that, like, well, all right, we don't have sprites anymore. Let's give these spiders eight legs like they deserve. <laughs> and they tried it, and it's like, nah, eh. no, nuts with authenticity. Just Let's keep them the way they were. Six-legged spider. Six-legged spider. He Let's just looks cooler. The spider be who he's born to be. And I like that they gave, I don't know, those guys just, there's something a little more menacing about these hockey players who are randomly <laughs> crashed in the Himalayas yeah. <laughs> uh, back in the day. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a kind of an untold story of a bunch of stranded hockey players exactly uh, who've resorted to Jason Voorhees' impression. Really, really would love to see Disney's version of Alive. <laughs> I do like that effect of the hockey stick flying out yeah, of Yeah, exactly. Hands. I should probably cool. give a little more screen time next time. And this friendly, ra friendly rabbit that I wouldn't think would deal damage to screen. Poof! Yeah, I don't know. This is... Oh, uh, wailing game. in the background. You'll hear uh, Jake Kaufman. Yeah. His amazing score. Uh, Jake Kaufman is, a, uh, I would say, famous game game composer. Um, yeah. That works, for way, works at Way Forward and also... Oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh nice. Here, this is the way to do it. Yes. Uh, but has like, faithfully like recreated but uh, embellished upon the du NES DuckTales soundtrack. So if you know those songs really well, like most of us do, uh, you'll hear these expertly reimagined versions of those songs um, if you played uh, Mighty Switch Force or Double Dragon Neon. Um, oh, man. I just played that recently. That uh, music. The soundtracks, yeah. And, and Jake also has a lot of stuff on Overclocked uh, as Vert. Yeah. A um, lot of great stuff. I th I, and talking to Way Forward um, about everybody's favorite remix, I, Jake might have said this Vert. What's up, Capcom Unity? We're live mm -hmm. at San Diego Comic Con 2013. Brawlston here, along with Chris Anthony. It's like it had no expectations on it. And right. It, it just calypso, wacky, and weird. Like just take it in any direction you want. Well, I often think of, think of calypso with the Himalayas. I don't. I don't know what kind of. I'm, I know musical expert else. Well, nor I. Um, I forgot what else I was going to say. But it still fits this oh. uh, this just fun-loving attitude of the level. And these were, it was still pretty unique to Capcom. I can't believe it took me so many years to hit upon it, but one of the things that was special about all Capcom games, your Mega Mans, your Striders, your Bionic Commandos, um, are the ability to, for you to, on the NES, to choose which level you went to first. Yeah, like, it was, not a lot it was, of games were doing It was that. definitely a unique trait back then to choose the direction you wanted to take. So I, I've also just looped, and we're going to come back to Launchpad. Oh, wow. Um, my, my mind is rending. But I only got one part. I love Launchpad animations. But, oh, the wrench just... His wrench died. Don't crack up, but you can't um, but for me, that, I think that's what makes made a lot of these games special. You tackled them in whatever order you wanted. Yeah. It was always maybe one the schoolyard defined as the proper one. Nowadays, yeah. you call that game facts. Yeah. Uh, but you could take, take on anyone you wanted. For me, the game was hard. And this is the first level I ever completed in the original uh, DuckTales and Leia's. I don't know if you can anybody else. I remember can't remember there. the first one, but I, I definitely remember the first time seeing Gizmo Duck, and I think I maybe hadn't seen him in the show yet. Yes. And I was. Did the game tease you guys with that? No, certainly not. <laughs> well, <laughs> certainly not. Well, please continue correcting me. All uh, right. Uh, where Where did he come from? Well, he was in the series, the second season. Oh. Um, which which we, is fun to bring up here because you will see an appearance, a brief appearance, by another second season character in this level that I know most people always forget is in this game. He yeah. What was once a static sprite. 
Uh, now becomes a part of the level. Now comes to life and has in uh, fully voiced. Fully voiced. We will see him in a moment. I decided to take the long way around, but I basically looped around to show you that that's what happens when you bring one part back to launch pad instead right. of all three. Um, oh, and I taken hits just because. Uh, I want something well, you are playing and talking at the same time. It's 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 hard to do. No, rather get, than rather I than little, I get a little show offy with my cane. Uh, my cane prowess, I should probably chill out. Here we go. Here's the area I never went to. Again, you could all do this in one super quick right. speed run if you wanted to. Um, Taking a nice stroll. I wanted to take it, yeah, I want to take it nice and slow. We don't get to show this game that often. And uh, for those at Comic Con uh, 2013 this year, uh, it is playable on the show floor. Exactly, this level. And uh, this comes after uh, we premiered it at PAX, 20, PAX East 2013, where we showed off uh, the Amazon. Not, no, not, Transylvania. Not, Transylvania. Uh, Amazon we showed at uh, E3, and this is Himalayas, and I know everyone's just, it's a build-up to the moon. Everyone's yep. waiting for the moon, uh, yep, which here. is interesting to me because it's not like, the moon isn't this thing uh, where, like, uh, it's another fuel, fuel resonator. Right yes, that canceled out my invincibility. <laughs> oh, that sucks. It's all good. Don't need it. Don't, oh, that's true. Um, Don't need it. But the moon is, like, this, this almost le legendary thing yeah. because, of the, because of the music. It's It's... It's not like the level is any any better or than any of the other levels in the game. It's it's just as a fun level as any of the levels uh, you've played in DuckTales up to that point. But I really feel it's the music that has given it yes. the status that it that it's gained over the years. I think most people today have heard of DuckTales via a familiarity with the moon theme. And there's so many great moon songs. Here we go. Hey, Bubba Duck, ladies Bubba and gentlemen. Duck. I believe he made his appearance somewhere in the second season, maybe a five-part episode. His, he had a Triceratops pet? Yeah. What was his name? I'm, I'm going to go Sarah. Sarah. No, that's Land Before Time. How about Try? We do not have that. We do not have that. Uh, Don Bluth's not uh, knocking down the door? I do want to make a, a Capcom cross Don Bluth <laughs> if I ever get the chance. Just because I really want to kick the crap out of Thumb Balloon. Awesome. Yep, yeah, we're deep. Digging, digging we're deep. deep here. I don't know. Don Blues, the fans out there are, are doubled over and laughed. Right <laughs> I assure you. I'm glad somebody's laughing. I assure you. Bubba, oh, Scooge. I forgot he said Unka Scooge. Unka Scooge. And they, they spelled it. And it nearly avoided an M rating. <laughs> I think uh, Bubba Duck just seems like some kind of Panama Jack ripoff that I would Panama go. Jack. That I would go into a beach store in the Gulf of Mexico and walk in and be like, Get, get your Bubba Duck merchandise. Well, it's, it's just not because Bubba's appearance was like sort of there for no reason, except that he's been in ice before, according to the series. But so this is kind of great. He's lost here. He's coming yeah, because in in the in the prior game in the in the NES game, he, he just one thing. He or... just a sprite that sat there. Now yeah. he gets to walk around with you and have a bit more interaction. It's oh. still just uh, emblematic of the the extra little extra layer of polish put on the game. Yeah, especially because I was finding out a lot of people don't like Bubba Duck. They call him the Scrappy Doo or Poochie of Ducktales, <laughs> but because he's in the original game, you better believe he's here. Yeah. And I am a fan of Bubba Duck. Please, do I have no me. particular ill will towards Bubba. Me Duck. neither. I mean, as a kid, I thought he was hysterical. Uh, that was definitely during my dinosaur fascination period. Right, it hit the is, right time. It's almost over. <laughs> uh, Projections for uh, 2017 uh, suggest dinosaurs finally uncool. <laughs> uncool. Uncool. Right around the time of Jurassic Park 4, unfortunately. I'm going to let my nephew know. Uh, sorry, get over dinosaurs quick. Cause. Get him out. Yeah, get him in. Get that giant Thunder Lizard DVD and Earl Sinclair poster. Oh, oh! Little Diamonds. Little Diamonds. The Brett Elson story. <laughs> what a story. And what a climax. <laughs> Who would have thought I'd have found super it? carefully. i got one more healthy bar left. And these rabbits can be a little tricky. Uh-oh, what's that? Could that be a part? Almost got a million duck bucks. Exactly. The They're people the bucks, I checked. One. These oh. do transfer. I used to... Back to launch I, ha I would have a dream when I was, like, I was a kid that I would get a genie to grant me anything in-game that uh. I could have in real life in order to trick him into getting the high score in DuckTales and having to turn that pile of money, that amassment of wealth, into real money. Uh, and I, I, yeah, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but it was like me. I got you, Genie. You told me I couldn't wish for money. <laughs> I wish for transfer. Yeah, I had my biggest wish was to make DuckTales real life as a young, like, nine-year-old. So I believe we have all of our parts, and we can head back up and talk oh. to Launchpad. Of the... Uh 
Highland McQuacks, yes. I believe. Yes. Yes. Benson Hurt McQuacks. I already go over here. I did. Very conniving yes. Beagle Boy. Yeah. Glad they still talk like 1940s. I was gonna say the 1940s so gangster uh, motif. They is did really it in '87. Why not 2013? Ooh, oh, still all right, it's all right. Uh, much more forgiving with the respawn areas in this game, depending on which difficulty mode you pick. But again, yeah, you're. I've only heard a couple people like, "Man, kids have it so easy." Feel free to play this thing on hard. It'll give you a run for your money. Yep, and we'll get rid of the map that uh, if you cannot avert your eyes when you hit start. Um, Let's put it on hard. No! Chris, however. Yes. Uh, I cannot look away. There is an extra skill. Uh, shout out to everyone who does Let's Plays and doesn't uh, record the footage and then VO over that. Mm -hmm. Anyone who plays and talks live, uh, it is a, it's another it's a bit of a challenge. It's another story. Yeah, I can't enjoy Bubba hopping what around in the new? background there. No, and the death of Launch Fat McQuack's wrench. <laughs> Just How many of these does he have? Ah, uh, another one. This so this is another, like, embellishment to the original uh, DuckTales. What's um, wrong with the... Oh, it's Webby, who I believe was in the level also for, without, like, real, uh, really any explanation. I don't remember her being But a lot of the... Uh, like, the nephews and Webby were in a lot of levels with no explanation. Yeah. And now there's a little bit of reasoning behind that. And it's nice. I, uh, that's what I was going to say about the moon. The moon level... I don't know why, but I did always save it for last because the song is most yeah. like a finale. Yeah, it's very much like a conclusion, and I'm loving that we will not, we will absolutely not be showing you the moon <laughs> until the very, very last, because that's yep, that's just uh, the way the moon is to me. Yeah, it's very, it's like this strangely important thing that uh, you know you can't you can't lead with it. You gotta you gotta savor the moment. Yep. And this, but this whole scene is another. A uh, moment of just these voice actors getting to bounce dialogue of each other for the first time in 20 years. About yeah, basically 20 years. For Launchpad, uh, the other characters have appeared here and there. Um, somebody had sent me a clip of like CG Scrooge and the nephews, and that is absolutely from Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas. Huh. It's Rushy Taylor. Wow. Uh, and Alan Young doing the voice. But Launchpad in particular. Has oh my God. Flintheart, Glomgold. Glomgold. Glomgold and Launchpad have not really not have a, had a place to shine in at least two decades. So unbelievably ecstatic to see them back again. Like Glomgold. The palindrome? Name. No. No, it just it's Glom. He gloms onto gold. It's like Glogmold. Cool Carl Barks name. All of them. It's always some alliterative. Right. Should that be a word? Uh, name gyro gear loose. Um, almost. What? It's like ja and ga. His name is Gyro. It's great. Thanks for telling me. <laughs> Gyro Gearloose is also in the plane, or in the not in the plane he's, in the game. He's somewhere in the the stowage department. And here we are about to see one of the newer additions on, uh, to the game. The Beagle Boy Cannon. The Beagle Boy Cannon. And that's exactly what it is. Oh, neat. Cannon. I get it. Woo. All to that Himalayas view. Here comes a ten megaton finger speed. Oh. Ah, missed that one. Scrooge! to cut around stuff here. Oh! Oh! Now, is it a rule of threes or a rule of fives for Duckdale? I wonder. Sure. Oh, get out of there! Uncle Scrooge will make it fair. Again, not an easy game. And here we see one of the newer levels added by way forward. How's that? Uh, this is brand new. And as you can see, I'm going to whack Beagle Boys off of my get off my play. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, as it alternates between Beagle Boys and bombs. bombs. Uh, whack. But there's a rule. Nothing too difficult. It's just, uh, I love it because it's a chance for um, Screw to Glomgold to trade insults back and forth. Which builds up to their epic uh, encounter that most people, yeah, most people are familiar. The game no eventually happens, but it's just sort of out of nowhere. You go back to Transylvania, right? And you fight your arch enemy. So in here, he's just he appears. He's like been before the very like game. dogging you throughout the game, or at, at various points. And I wonder if it's it's more to like flesh it out, or just because like maybe people who know Ducktales but not the show wouldn't know who he was by the end of the game. 
Could be, because it's been long enough. Yeah. It has been long enough, and it hasn't been on Toon Disney, uh, I think was the last place it was, or Jetix, or whatever you want to call it. Jetix, yeah. It hasn't been on there for quite a while. But again, I still find the show very watchable. It's very pulpy, very adventure-y. It's, it's not directly based off Carl Barks' comics, which are also amazing, but very much feels like an adventure comic to me. I love the original DuckTales episodes. And I'm a big cartoon fan, and just like cartoon characters, even the ones I love, don't really do anything or go anywhere <laughs> due to limita like animation limitations. Right. Or even if the guys in Adventure Time are always like reluctantly going somewhere where Scrooge right. is like, we're going here and we're going to get there and we're going to go with this. Yeah, it's very proactive uh, characters like yeah, to go seek out the adventure. Straightforward adventure show, man. We don't have enough of that. Whatever it is, it won't last long if it tries to get between me and the lost crown. Uncle Scrooge, don't go. Don't worry, Lassie. Dinner worry. I love the way they spell that. Dinner. Dinner worry. Bubba just doing whatever doing he does best. Getting the ADD out. <laughs> Good. He'll sleep tonight. <laughs> and he's wearing his Captain Caveman outfit. Stay with Launchpad. So hopefully the Hanna Barbera people don't sue. This kid there. there shouldn't be any more Hanna Barbera people. I'm really bad. I kid the Hanna Barberas. Yes. And, uh, some little so, denouement. Do you happen to remember who the boss is here, Elson? Uh, an abominable snowman. Which is pretty true. And one of my favorite, most notable things about him, the first couple builds I we played when the game was still in uh, very much a work in progress, still rough. Duh. Shoot. <laughs> All right. There's no hiding that from you. See, the score is different. We had a, it was out of lives. I died. All the way. I died in, like, the, the Wily Tunnel. Or <laughs> the equivalent of the Between the Boss Door of Mega Man. Incredible. Uh, Mega Man 1, where there's actually enemies in yeah. those hallways. Um, yes. Oh, my God. Okay, so <laughs> this is why this guy is awesome. This Whoa. is how he's different from before. Jeez. One of the biggest sprites I have ever seen. Don't want to be near his feet. He comes a jumping. Ah! Here it Ha! Oh, I missed. Duh. It's all right. Man, that is... Can't be killed. Brian Scrooge. Because I'm, yeah, I'm like the other game. Depending on what difficulties you're on, um, you will get some life drops on occasion. So what we want to do here is wait for him to fall down there, and I missed again. <laughs> awesome! Well, this is certainly more involved than uh, the original boss. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Every boss has been given, like, it's no, no longer just hit him three times and you're done. Right. It, they're all given uh, weird new abilities and wacky patterns. Yeah, some of them we've seen, like, the Magic of the Spell fight is kind of an escalating pattern that actually gets yeah, it's fairly too, challenging. It's nothing too crazy, but, like, it's it's all really interesting, especially in your first time. There Crack. we go. Oh, what a That idiot. is how you what do it. What a loser. Oh, oh, oh. Careful that snow. I've done this in a couple months. Ah. Oh, all my pent-up aggression on this mountain wall. Nice bird. And... <laughs> Should have done it right there. Oh, uh, schmackity. Dope. No. Thank you. Uh, that's the nice neutral jump there from the abominable <laughs> snowman. <laughs> ah, I don't know why I want to do Frankenstein voice. It <laughs> becomes on screen. Uh, Inauthentic uh, and unnecessary. <laughs> also, not the right studio. I know, I know. I had, it's not like they're using them. Man, a lot of... <laughs> A lot of trash talk here with old movie studios. Man of our bear in that Universal? Is there anybody we won't offend? Uh, the good people at McGraw Hill. Oh no! Oh, ill-timed, ill-timed once again. Oof! But again, it's been a while. The biggest sprites, man. Uh, 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 uh. No, do it. Do uh, it. One, one, I don't want to take the chance. Hopefully, won't crush it. Oof. All right. I am enjoying the detail of his toenails. Uh, <laughs> some nice sprite work. Go, go. Uh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. He's uh bags under his eyes. I think this guy needs to get some rest. Yeah. 
Whoa, whoa. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I sh should have practiced more. <laughs> Again, man, not an easy game. Come on, do that jumpy. Yeah. Borf. Borf. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I am slowing all these little Rawr. all these little frames. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on. Smackety. There we go. Since this is a uh, rage yell, no, I guess there's one more hit. Oh, oh. god. And oh. barely dodge. Ooh. Skill, baby. Can't beat that. Jump one more time. Yes! All and right. I especially love how this, this boss fight ends. It is probably not how you're expecting it to. Uh, but it's, it's very Disney. It's very Disney, I'll say that mm. much. Very DuckTales as well. I almost hate to spoil it. Completely. So look away if you don't want to know story-wise how this all plays but out. But I need to know the plight of the Abominable Snowman. Yeah, how did he get here? How did he come to be? How did he become so abominable? Is he? Where's Bubba? How come Bubba and the Abominable Snowman are never in the same frame together? <laughs> Is it Frank Welker doing the voice? All these questions <laughs> will be answered when the game comes out. Ready. If it's a cartoon, I'm going to have to say yes, it is Frank Welker doing the voice. See? Webby's like, come on. The, four, the poor fuzzy lady didn't mean any harm. What? Now suddenly, there are eyelashes. This monster tried to pummel me. Why, I nearly cashed my last check. <laughs> oh, I know, ma'am. But Uncle Scrooge is really nice once you get to know him. And he's not beating you with his cane. Look. Webby, you understand this creature? Of course, Uncle Scrooge. It's all in the Junior Woodchuck. The guidebook. Yep. Oh, my God. I forgot about that. That's right. What Do you remember uh, the friend of... Webby and the Nephews, who was always wearing Junior Woodchuck? Uh, no. Doofus? Doofus. Doofus. What's his last name? Duck pun? Duck. <laughs> <laughs> There's no better duck pun than just duck. The lost crown of Genghis Khan. The pretty crown. Yay. Webby no longer cares about the plight of the poor female snowman. <laughs> Abominable I snow woman. I cannot thank oh, you enough. Find it in your heart to forgive me. Without your help, we never would have found the treasure. Oh, uh, and thanks to you too. All right, guys, we are almost out of Ducktales to show you. Hopefully, you enjoyed that um, pretty long and insufferable <laughs> version of the boss battle. It's all right. It's same thing would have happened to you had you just tried it gone in blind. Well, now they know. They've seen the video. Now you know. They know going in. Yes, stage clear. All right, guys, keep it a Capcom community for more. Subscribe, yo. Rated E for everyone.